Welcome back to the channel guys. So in the last couple of weeks I uploaded a lot of how I shoot videos and ever since I started to use um, Kodak Vision 3 films people ask me or keep asking me how I do develop these films and this video will address this. So a couple of days ago I went outside with my Hasselblad X-Pen and I shot a roll of Kodak Vision 3 250D and I'm going to develop this role today and I will show you how to get rid of the Renjet layer. And uh, the tank I'm using is the Patterson tank and the developer is the uh, Tetinal C41 kit. And if you want to know why a salad spinner and a microfiber cloth are my best friends for getting rid of Renjet and developing this film, stay tuned. Okay guys, let's get started. The first thing I do is fill up a bucket with hot tap water. Usually I fill it up to one third. And this water bath is meant to bring the chemicals up to temperature. First I will put in the developer, then the Blix and last but not least the stabilizer. I put a thermometer into the developer to check the temperature. The developer has to get up to 38 degrees Celsius or 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit. And the same applies to the Blix. The next step is to put some warm tap water into the developing tank, just to get the film up to temperature. While the chemicals are heating up, I will take out the stabilizer and put it aside. Because the stabilizer doesn't have to get that hot like the developer or the Blix. To speed up the heating process, I will put some boiling water into the bucket. It is always useful to have some paper towels, or in my case, some toilet paper, because you never know when you spill something. Just before the chemicals reach the targeted uh, temperature, get rid of the water in the developing tank. Oh, and make sure not to open the tank. When the chemicals reach the targeted temperature, I will get them out of the water. And then I will start to pour the developer into the developing tank and agitate for about one minute. And I will repeat to agitate every minute for about five seconds. The developer has to stay inside the tank for three minutes and 15 seconds in total. After that I will use a funnel to pour back the developer. Then comes the blakes. And I will do the same like I did before with the developer. So I will uh, agitate for the first minute and then I will agitate for 5 seconds every next minute. The only difference is that the developer has to stay inside the tank for 4 minutes in total. So the next step is to rinse the developing tank. And I use for that usually just warm tap water for 2 to 3 minutes. Now it's time to get rid of the infamous Ramjet. Okay, it's very simple and straightforward. So you just get the film out of the developing tank, get it off the reel and just hang it like you would hang it to dry. Before taking care of the Ramjet, I will just quickly clean the reel with a toothbrush. Then I will take a wet microfiber cloth and just wipe the film with it. Then usually I clean the uh, microfiber cloth and I will do it all over again for three times in total. Like I said before, it's very, very easy. So. It's just that. You just take a microfiber cloth and you can just wipe it off. That's it. When you're done with that, you just take the reel, put the film back on it and put the reel back into the developing tank. Now we're back to the regular C41 developing procedure. And I will put in the, the stabilizer for one minute and the whole time I will agitate. 
And after that I will uh, pour it back. And yeah, that's it. The film is developed. Now you can hang the film to dry. But what I usually do is, so my last step would be to use a salad spinner. And I will put the whole reel in there. Give it a good spin for like 30 seconds. And yeah, then I can hang the film to dry and I can be pretty sure that there will be no stains on the film whatsoever. Okay guys, that's it. Uh, the film is developed. Like I told you, it's very simple and straightforward. I have the negatives here. And if you find this useful, you know what to do. Give the video a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Maybe you have further tips or you want to try at home let me know and we will see each other in the next video and oh by the way i'm now going to scan the results and i will address scanning and everything else in another video so subscribe if you haven't already and uh yeah we will see each other in the next one now i will show you a couple of frames and until then auf wiedersehen